Hey, so this is just a quick video. I got these in the mail. So we have a Wise Cam, we have that Wise Sense, brand new, um, super tiny. So I just wanted to show you guys what they look like. Uh, let's open them up. Okay, so here they are. We have our Wise Cam. So let me just show you this. This is a $20 Wise Cam. This is not the pan and tilt. Super small. It's got a magnetic base. So we have the camera. It's got this base. This is a magnet, so we can attach this to anything. It comes with a five volt charger, just your standard square chargers. You've seen this, so here's our cable. Here's a metal Here's a metal disc. You can you can use the 3M tape, put the metal disc, attach it somewhere, and then attach the camera right to it. So it allows you to position it wherever you want. And then we have the actual charger. So we have the charger, we have the cable. It plugs into the back right here. Um, but here's where the Y Sense comes in. So the Wise Sense is an add-on. You have to purchase it, or at least for early access, I had to purchase it through the Wise application. There's this little tool here to activate the to activate the sensors. This comes with two connection sensors and a PIR motion sensor, as well as this bridge. So we have we have this little piece right here to activate things, and you can see how tiny these things are. So we have. We have the bridge right here. We have two sensors. They're magnetic sensors. So open, close type sensors for windows, doors, things like that. And then we have this tiny PIR to sit here. So these are all battery operated. And what they do is they talk back to this bridge over RF. So once they're paired, I have to test and see how far we can go with RF. RF usually goes pretty far. And then the nice thing is this RF bridge plugs right in to your Wise Cam. So it plugs right into your Wise Cam. It allows the motion sensors and open close sensors to talk via RF back to the Wise Cam and then leverages the Wise Cam's power and more importantly, the Wi-Fi connection. So the Wi-Fi connection takes up a lot of power, which is why typically when you do things via Wi-Fi, they need to be connected to power. These are battery operated, so they're gonna use a much less power hungry RF protocol to talk back to the bridge. It's a really smart idea. I think for 20 bucks, you're getting two sensors and a PIR and the bridge. I think it's a great deal, it's super inexpensive. There's not, components directly for Home Assistant just yet. There is new firmware that, that allows the Wise Cam to do RTSP. In fact, I'm gonna link it in a card. Um, Dr. Z's has a great video on that, so I'll put a link uh, somewhere up here maybe, and you can check that out. And the only other thing I just wanna show you is just from a size perspective. This is my old PIR that I built. It's just a standard PIR, and you can see it's pretty much the same PIR. This is just in a Lego casing that I built using a Node uh, Node MCU. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll, somewhere in the description, I'll drop a link for for this uh, for the write up on how I built that. But this PIR sensor is pretty small, pretty awesome, nice form, nice form factor. Set it up somewhere. And uh, based on the reviews, the early reviews I've seen, it's got great coverage. So, but I wanted to open this up. I wanted to show you guys because I know there's not a lot of videos that for the for these sense things because they're early access. Um, but I so far what I've seen, I haven't used them yet. But what I've seen, I like them. I like the price point, 20 bucks. You just can't go wrong. And uh, we'll see where it goes. Thanks a lot. Take care.